prince metal or the variant angina. So we already discussed about the stable angina in which we discussed about the most common cause for the stable angina is atherosclerosis which means the coronary artery disease should be present in the stable angina but uh, this is the separate type of angina which is called as variant angina, prince metal variant angina. So what is the main problem in this and what is the most common cause for the development of prince metal variant angina. So if you discuss about cause, this is the very important MCQ here. If you discuss about the cause of uh, the variant prince metal angina here, it is mainly because of coronary artery vasospasm coronary artery vasospasm at rest. This is very important MCQ point. Whenever they ask about the question related to what is the most common cause of uh, Prince metal variant angina means immediately you should select the answer. It is due to the coronary artery vasospasm at rest with or without the presence of coronary artery atherosclerotic disease. So it is not compulsory that we should have an atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease for the development of the prince metal variant angina. That is the reason I said that it is an intermittent coronary artery vasospasm at rest with or without superimposed coronary artery atherosclerotic disease is what is called as the prince metal variant angina. And remember that this condition promptly respond to vasodilators, promptly respond to vasodilators is another important MCQ point you will get in the exam. Now let us talk about the pathogenesis, pathogenesis. So coronary artery vasospasm is the cause for the development of uh, this uh, variant angina but in some cases the vasoconstriction may be caused by an increase in the thromboxane A2. The vasoconstriction may be caused by an increase in the thromboxane A2, the thromboxane A2 which is originating from the platelets. The thromboxane A2 which is originating within the like from the platelets within a thrombus overlying the atherosclerotic plaque. So, if this is the coronary artery and there is an atherosclerotic plaque and there are like platelets overlying the atherosclerotic plaque and these platelets are the one which are like releasing thromboxane A2 and this thromboxane A2 is responsible for the vasoconstriction. So that is the reason I said that in some cases the vasoconstriction may be caused by an increase in the thromboxane A2 which is produced by the platelets within the thrombus overlying the atherosclerotic plaque and approximately if you see in another 10% of the individuals in 10% of the cases a thrombus not overlying the atherosclerotic plaque is also responsible for the vasoconstriction and leads to coronary artery vasospasm. So this is what is about the pathogenesis and the least cause include endothelin endothelin remember that endothelin is a vasoconstrictor so endothelin is also considered to be responsible for the vasoconstriction and leads to an intermittent coronary artery vasospasm so all these events create vasospasm of the coronary arteries responsible for the development of this uh, prince metal variant angina so what about the stress test in such conditions remember that in prince metal angina it shows ST segment elevation. There is a classical difference between the stable angina as well as this particular prince metal variant angina because we studied in the stable angina that there will be an ST segment depression. But in the prince metal angina, there will be an ST segment elevation because of transmural ischemia and there will be a subendocardial ischemia what we studied in the stable angina. So you can clearly differentiate between stable as well as prince metal. In the stable angina, ST segment depression. In the prince metal angina, ST segment elevation. In the stable angina, subendocardial ischemia. But in the prince metal angina, there will be transmural ischemia. So what we need to write over here is ST segment 
st segment elevation st segment elevation is an important feature is mainly because of transmural ischemia versus subendocardial ischemia what we will see in the stable angina is what you need to know about the stress test findings and this is another very very important mcq point to be noted so this is what is about uh, the prince metal variant angina